Thank you for joining our session. This session is merging your kernel testing code into kernel CI. How to test your own kernel project with kernel CI? My name is Hirotaka Motai. I'm a software engineer for Embedded Linux, RT Linux, and also CIP representative in Cybertrust Japan. If you have any questions after the session, I would be happy you could chat on Slack with Alice or come and ask me. If, if I'm not infected with Corona, I'll be in conference room. The technical contents about kernel CI will be given by Alice after my talk. I would like to explain our motivation for kernel CI development for a couple of minutes. We are doing collaborative development with OSS project, CIP, the Civil Infrastructure Platform project, aims to establish a base layer of industrial grade tooling using the Linux kernel and other open source projects. This base layer will be available for use by developers creating software building blocks that meet safety, security, reliability, and other requirements that are critical to industrial and civil infrastructure projects. GIP is an open and collaborative project. We have already joined. The outcomes of CIP has been useful for our Linux product. We also contribute by developing kernel testing infrastructure and providing CD reports. CIP has a testing working group that I'm to design and implement centralized testing infra infrastructure that can be used to test CIP software on C CIP reference hardware. CIP testing working group has already integrated with the kernel CI project. In this presentation, we would like to show you technical knowledge about kernel CI with actual use case of integration CIP testing into kernel CI. Alice, please continue presentation. Hello everyone, I am Alice Ferrazzi, I am a Gento developer and Vecur Engine to Kernel Project Leader. I am the creator of Kernel CI, a Gento automated kernel testing tool. I am also a member of Kernel CI, a technical steering committee and CAP Civil Infrastructure Platform Testing Working Group. I am a software engineer for Miracle Linux, a powered by Cybertrust Japan Co Ltd and the lead uh, of the continuous integration system for Linux, that is an embedded Linux distribution. Uh, this is today's agenda. Uh, in summary, I will talk about uh, KNSI and I will talk about the implementation of CAP into KNSI and I will talk about KCIDB and the implementation of Gentoo uh, KNSI using KCID, that uh, is using KCDB. And in the end, I will talk about future work and give a, a conclusion. So, KNSI is a community-based open source uh, distributed test automation system focused on upstream kernel development. It is divided by the technical steering committee, uh, which one I am a member of that is uh, formed by KNSCI core developer and maintainer <coughs> and is focused on the technical part of KNSCI. And then there is an adv advisory board uh, that is formed by premium organization representatives that are involved in KNSCI. And this is the part that is managing uh, budget and help coordinating tasks particularly the financial part of KNSI. And then um, we have the KNSI website uh, <coughs> that is linked in, the, in this slide. Uh, KNSI uh, is needed for 
is useful for anyone that is uh, developing kernel and need uh, some tool for automating a kernel testing and getting a result from many board. <coughs> Can I say is uh, open source so everyone can use it but also uh, <coughs> the system is online so result can be the result of KNSI can be checked by everyone and currently is also reporting to the stable mailing list <coughs> So kernel CI is composed by the core tool that is containing the main configuration of kernel CI. Uh, the backend that is currently re reworked that is keeping the API of kernel CI. We have a frontend uh, and test definition that are um, Practically uh, lava jobs, <coughs> and then we have lava docker, that is uh, orchestration system for easily implementing uh, your lava laboratory. <coughs> and currently, all the scheduling is done by Jenkins. And then we have KSIDB, that is the tool. Uh, that is collecting all kernel CI data. And, but not only kernel CI is collecting also uh, each uh, testing framework that want to contribute with uh, kernel CI. So currently we have uh, a kernel CI native mm, <coughs> system that is the uh, main CI part that is created by uh, CI and maintained by CI. And then we have <coughs> all other uh, continuous integration systems that are contributing to CI by using the KCIDB uh, tool for uh, sending data to a kernel CI database. <coughs> so uh, kernel CI testing laboratory can be distributed so everyone can start their own Lava laboratory by using Lava Docker and uh, connecting the laboratory to the kernel CI. And so they can uh, give a possibility to kernel CI to send uh, tests to the own board and checking the own board with uh, kernel tree my line or other different kernel tree. And any uh, Lava laboratory with a published Publicly uh, available API can be added to KernelCI. Uh, in the future, also known Lava Laboratory Farm could be able to contribute. And as I said, Lava Laboratory can be easily uh, installed by leveraging the Lava Docker orchestration system. Currently, we have uh, many laboratories that are contributing board to KernelCI. So if you want uh, your board tested with CI, feel free to uh, send a request for adding your laboratory to CI. And these are some of the current uh, kernel tree that are currently automatically tested by CI. Uh, Probably I forgot to mention someone. <laughs> But uh, these are some of the main that we are currently testing. In this talk, I will sometimes use a framework 
and or testing framework and I am talking about kernel building, booting and testing code as testing framework. For example, with CIP CV infrastructure platform project, every some testing framework for testing with CIP uh, super long term stable kernel tree. So can I say native will be the main topic of this slide and I will explain how we manage to merge the CAP repository tree to CanSCI. And next I will talk about KCIDB uh, client and how Gen2 uh, CanSCI is sending data to KCIDB. And there is another way that is of using CanSCI, that is to implement CanSCI locally and but I will not talk about that in this presentation, but I will leave a link on this slide if you are interested. <coughs> so we have a, a CanSCI native implementation that is composed of the uh, CanSCI and of course, you can do automated building, booting, and testing on kernel tree. And kernel CI native is managed by the kernel CI uh, team. And it have native test job that are in Lava format and generalized to run on different kernel CI uh, Lava laboratory. The good point about using kernel CI is that <coughs> uh, it's possible to re to collaborate <laughs> with same on same code, so reuse the same code and reuse the same test, and getting a regression check from the CanSCI system, and also by merging directly in the code to CanSCI upstream, you can also leverage all the boards that are already connected from Lava Labs to. <clears throat> so CIP car, uh, current was is using uh, Atlas GitLab pipeline for doing some tests, <clears throat> but um, we wanted to deduplicate the work and. <clears throat> getting more tests from current CI. So we decided to merge the current CIP testing framework into current CI native. And in the next slide, we will explain uh, what is uh, CIP and how CIP manager to merge. <coughs> so CIP is a civil infrastructure platform, is a Linux foundation project that aim to establish a base layer of industrial grade tooling using the Linux kernel and other open source project. <coughs> so uh, there is uh, a CAP testing framework, as I was saying, that is using GitLab pipeline with Lava CP, um, laboratory for building, booting, and testing the SLTS and SLTS RT kernel. And is doing some tests with uh, Spectre Meltdown testing, for example, and it have a uh, rootfs that is a CIP core, and it have some own kernel configuration. <coughs> so by getting a uh, CIP merging into kernel CI, we could get a regression test mail and release testing mail. <coughs> and we could uh, test the kernel with some of the configuration that are in CIP kernel configuration. We also implemented the ISA CIP core for testing the CIP kernel against and 
but uh, we could also leverage all other tests that is um, that KNSI have already implemented, like uh, some of the KSM test tests, LTP tests, and also many other tests that are not uh, brought here. And and also they are uh, updated constantly by the KSI team. Uh, <coughs> in some cases, uh, can I say I have an automatic bisection uh, of regression, but it's still an experimental feature, and we used it in few cases, but not already <coughs> enabled by default. And. By using CI, uh, we could also uh, leverage all the boards that are uh, linked to CI by the Lava Laboratory. <coughs> so adding a tree into CI is um, just adding a link <laughs> is mostly sending a pull request for asking your tree to be added to CI. So, just adding it is simple, and if you are working with a uh, kernel upstream, I think anyone uh, could request to be added, and <coughs> And in for CIP, we also uh, <coughs> selected uh, with which uh, Linux uh, tree branch to be monitor monitored as CIP is uh <coughs> working on a different uh, kernel version, and each one is. Uh, monitored and automatically built and tested by CNCI. Uh, and if you can see, we are also adding the <coughs> real time <coughs> branch. And by just by doing that, uh, we can get a CNCI result in May. Uh, that is describing how many board be uh, how many builds worked and how many builds failed, and then we have also uh, the after uh, the building we have also the board reporting mail that is uh, explaining how many board uh, worked and which one didn't. And we can see the log file for each board for <coughs> each build. And if there is a regression error, we can check about what was the problem. <coughs> As I explained pre previously, we also made some work for adding the CIP root FS as uh, CAP was uh, wanted to test the kernel also against the <coughs> ESA CAP core. So, we enable also for <coughs> uh, testing the kernel against the <coughs> uh, ESA CAP core uh, root FS storage instead of the usual Debian one that is used for each build. And <coughs> then we decided to add the 
<coughs> Spectre Meltdown test and for adding that uh, <coughs> we are linking to the current site test definition that is keeping all the lava um, uh, testing file <coughs> and then we are calling such file by the CanSI core um, lava configuration that is that it will uh, create in the end the YAM file that will be sent to the lava laboratory <coughs> and in the end it will create the lava test job that uh, we send together with the board input uh, part of the file and the testing part of the file and in this case we will do the spectral meltdown check against the uh, CFP rootfs and CFP kernel file and we also uh, was able to make the uh, CFP kernel uh, dashboard where we can check each uh, kernel directly from the dashboard and not only from the uh, mail <coughs> for who want to check from the dashboard and also from the dashboard we can still see all the uh, log file and problem for each uh, kernel version and there is still some work left and we have a uh, uh, kernel CP kernel CI organization board on kernel CI mm, CP testing organization board on kernel CI that is uh, a CAM board that we are using for uh, managing the uh, CP issue that there is on kernel CI and one of the things that we are working now is cleaning the result because as kernel CI have a big number of board and there are some board that have some problem and sometimes it produces some <coughs> false result so we are working on on fixing such board and on fixing uh, actually on filtering such uh, result for uh, <coughs> as um, CP is we have some architecture that CP is currently not working on so we are filtering such uh, such architecture that have problem from when CP testing but or, or some uh, configuration that are currently not working on kernel CI <coughs> so we are filtering some of the kernel CI problem that currently uh, we have <coughs> for not making not creating too many false result of the resulting mailing list on the resulting mail uh, <coughs> to the CAP mailing list and we are also working on implementing tests for the uh, IX standard and there is some work done on this but uh, we are still working on this <coughs> and then there is uh, KCDB KCDB is the Kernel CI database service and tool is a tool uh, that is packaged for submitting and querying new CI report uh, coming from independent CI system and for maintaining the service behind that the good point is that it can be easily added in the current workflow 
and so if you already have a workflow workflow for testing and building your package case db could be something that you can add <coughs> more for contributing to <coughs> can ci and it can um <coughs> So by contributing by your result to can SCI, you can use the Macan SCI regression tool or can SCI tool that of analysis about all the results that are coming from all the independent system. And <coughs> Also, uh, it give a way to give some kind of standard to the uh, reports that are sent to the kernel upstream on the stable mailing list for not having too many mail sent there, but mostly having some <coughs> unified report of what is going wrong and what is working. KCDB is currently used by <coughs> by uh, these organizations <laughs> and implementing a KCDB tool uh, is practically just a command and <clears throat> so as I said, like uh, Gentoo Can SCI is, uh, for example, working with Billbot, and so we are just adding a step for calling the KCDB command for sending the result that we are collecting from uh, the Gentoo Canal testing to the Can SCI database. And actually, uh, uh, the command is called KCDB submit, and <coughs> it have a key, a token for uh, restricting the access, and it send the JSON file with the description of the result, and this is what looks what uh, the JSON file looks like and I think uh, this JSON file is this, this game is a bit old currently they move to some different version but this is already a good representation of how it looks like <clears throat> and it could not only send about, uh, for example, on Gen 2 we are sending which patch uh, we had it for each kernel tree, but uh, it's possible also to send, for example, the uh, logs of the building and the logs of the result. <clears throat> And <coughs> so, uh, for viewing uh, KCDB uh, is a bit uh, is a bit detached from KNSI and is using his own um, front end with Grafana, and this is, for example, with the Gentoo KNSI report. <clears throat> so uh, in the future, uh, KNSI Core uh, is currently moving to a new KNSI API 
and the nuclear SI pipeline. And but uh, we are still in early in a early phase. Uh, there is still much work to be done. And another consideration was about uh, <coughs> moving Jenkins and maybe using Billboard, but is still in a decision phase. And <coughs> I personally think that uh, as also Gen2 is using Billboard for doing many of the uh, kernel testing, I think is a good and flexible tool for uh, managing tasks. And <coughs> then there is also idea about creating a KCIDB plugin for Billboard, but uh, also, we are still in uh, development phase. <coughs> so, in conclusion, KNCI is a great tool that can be a part of your learning kernel development workflow. And having a way of getting multiple test results for each kernel uh, change without going around with board and <coughs> Some, something for uh, testing like in specific board uh, but just sending such uh, <coughs> uh, just pushing such test to something that is dispatching the test to <coughs> some different laboratory it can be a good way for uh, doing test in a easy way <clears throat> and that was also one of the reasons that uh, I started making Gentokan CI <clears throat> so that uh, we could automatically test in kind of source and patch uh, before releasing it in some way that <clears throat> I didn't have to go around with some machine that is <coughs> uh, powerful <laughs> enough for building or testing kernel. <coughs> but I could also do it with like for example Raspberry Pi or such. Uh, small resource <coughs> environment and I think that's all from my talk and in the end there is some documentation and I, I will leave the this slide and uh, in the uh, in the, I think, uh, schedule uh, website on this uh, speaker talk. So, if you are interested about CI or uh, CAP or Gentoo CI, uh, you can check uh, this slide and use and check the link that I had it for. <coughs> and for example, the <coughs> civil infrastructure project have a technical channel on uh, IRC, and like most of them have technical channel on IRC. So that's all for my talk.